Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. And today we're going to take a look at crossfading. All right. So I got a project I'm working on here um, where I comp together some guitar takes and I'm going to play this through because you'll hear that there are some clicks and pops and stuff like that. And we'll go through how to do a crossfade. Let me go back to the start of this track. 17 bars, one beat, one. And I'm going to hit play. And this is a guitar I recorded. And you hear that click right there. 17 bars. That's where two takes got spliced together. So um, we need to crossfade that to get rid of that click and pop. So I'm going to jump into the track contents area. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, from the track contents area this time. So I'm going to hit VOJ to jump into the tracks content area. In tracks contents, groove. 28. And I'm going to go find the track that we're working with here. Track, 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 26, track, 27, verse, guitar 1, track, 28, verse, guitar 2R, track, 27, verse, guitar 1L, track, back. There we go. That's the one we're looking at. So I'm going to interact with this. In track, 27, verse, guitar 1L, track, background, 17 items, SSB, take 3, SSB, SSB, take SSB, take 3.13, region. And when you're on a region, you can do VO shift H to here the start and end point of that region. Region starts at 19 bars, one beat, one tick, and ends at 21 bars, one beat, one tick. Audio region, an editable object representing recorded or imported. And I think this is the first one that we want to select. SSB, take three. So I'm going to hit control home to move the playhead to the start of this region. 19 bars, one beat, one tick. There 19 bars, one. So the click's right at measure 21, and the region that leads up to measure 21 is this one. I'll hit VO shift H again. Region starts at 19 bars, one beat, one tick, and ends at 21 bars, one beat, one tick. Audio region. And you see that one ends at 21, and if I go to the next region. SSB, take 7.19, region. VO shift H. Region starts at 21 bars, one beat, one tick, and ends at 20. So you see that region starts at measure 21. So we need to select those two regions to do the cross -base. I'm going to go back to the previous region with VO left arrow. SSB, take 3.13. Region starts at 19 bars, one beat, one That's the one that starts at 19. I'm going to VO space to select SSB, this. take three. Then do shift in the right arrow. And now we should have those two regions selected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this main window in another window. Because normally I'd have to stop interacting with this, stop interacting with the track area, go to inspector. It's just a lot of uh, interacting and stop interacting. So I'm going to depress command one. And I'll open a new copy of this main arrangement window. And that way I can go between the two windows without having to interact and stop interact. So I'm going to press command one. Now in Z project, Z pro And let me get to the inspector in this window. Out of tracks, out of tracks. Inspector, group. There we go. And now I need the region inspector. In inspector, group. Collapse, disclosure triangle. So that's collapse. I'm going to press VO space to expand it. Expanding. Because generally speaking, the first one is going to be the region inspector table. Region. Oopsie yep, region. Two selected. Edit text. It says two selected. That's right, because I have those two regions selected. Table. No selection. And then this is a table where I can interact and make some changes. So I'm going to interact with this table. In table. Row one of ten. Mute. Top loop. Hyphen. 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 Transpose. Fine tune. Flex and follow. Gain. More. Collapsed. And you see this more thing is collapsed. I'm going to interact with this. In group. Collapsed. Disclosure truck expanding. Expand it. Out of group. Stop interacting, and now I can go further down in this table. Delay. Level 2. Fade in. Pop-up button. So you have fade in. Kurt. Fade out. Pop-up button. Type. Type. So this is where you can set the type of fade out. Out. Pop-up button. So by default, it's on out. Menu 4 X. Chris fade. I'm going to VO space on that because I want to cross fade. So I'm going to select cross fade from here. Press X. Chris fade. X. X-ray. Pop-up button. Now, if I just press VO and up arrow. Slider. I'm on the slider. This is basically a table with two columns in it. So if I go via left, fade out, pop up button. That's the fade out pop up button, via right, slider. I'm on the slider. So the pop up button where you choose whether it's a fade out or a cross fade is right under the slider. So if I VO down arrow from the slider, X, X ray, pop up button. That's the pop up button where I chose the cross fade option. So I'm going to go back up to the slider, slider. Now if I interact with the slider, I can adjust the cross fade. And the thing I like about this is if I hit space, I can hear what I'm working with. So I'm going to move this up to measure 20. 20 bars, one beat, one tick. So I just hit the period to move by playhead to measure 20. So now if I hit space. 20 bars, one beat. So you hear that click. I'm going to interact with In this. Slider. And you can move in large quantities with your shift arrow. 999. 
And so I just did VO shift right hour there. Now I'm going to hit space. 20 bars, one beat one. And you see that was too much. So I'm going to hit VO shift left arrow. That takes me back to zero, but now I'm going to move in small increments with VO and just the arrow keys. So if I press VO right arrow, 10, 20, 30, let's try 30. 20 bars, one beat. Hear that smooth transition. Go back to zero. 20, 10. 20 bars, one beat. But now let's try 10. 10. Well, 20 bars, one beat, one tick. You know, even 10 reduces it a bit. 20. 20. 20 bars, one so, beat. So, in some cases, you may not always need to try more than 10 or 20% to get your crossfade to work. So, that is a crossfade. Alright, see you on the next side.